Rowan University celebrating many things this week, Inclusion Week and Homecoming Week. All that and more on this half hour of RTN News. Welcome back to a brand new episode of RTN News. I'm Victoria Todorova. And I'm Nate Aquino, and here are today's local news. Rowan University celebrates Inclusion Week. A prof talk was held to bring awareness to importance of inclusion. Rowan students spoke on the impact of being involved during the event. Four different students talked about how they strive to incorporate inclusion into their daily lives. The event opened up with a discussion question to challenge the audience to think of, of a product or system encountered that enhanced inclusion. This past week, there were two assaults off Rowan's campus. This, w this past Saturday, there was an assault in which the suspect attacked the victim before stealing their cell phone. Another incident occurred early Friday morning at 3.10 a.m. in front of the 7-Eleven on Rowan Boulevard. A male student was assaulted by three males. Both suspects from both the crime scenes have fled the incident and police are still on the lookout for them. If you have any information, contact Detective Howery at 856-881-1501. A Holocaust survivor lecture event took place on Tuesday night. The Stories That Live Fellowship came together in the Owl's Nest. The program connects college students with local survivors in order to create good relationships and inspire understanding. Students design and retell stories to keep the alive for the future generations. On Sunday, October, October 28, a suspicious incident occurred at St. Bridget's Church by Rowan's campus. Three college males inter interrupted a Sunday morning service at church yelling, God isn't real. The three college males were dressed up in costumes and took off after causing a scene. Glassboro police are looking to identify the three suspects. This event occurred within a day of the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting, which caused the officers to be cautious as possible. If any information in regards to the incident, contact the police department at 856-881. One five zero zero. Coming up, we will dive into events coming on campus. Don't go away. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise and be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Which planet are we living on? What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. Welcome back to RTN News. Here's more from your local area. On Friday, October 26, Rowan's chapter of American Society of Mechanical Engineers hosted their 16th annual Pumpkin Chunkin. ASME is a student-run group with members from every major, but dominantly mechanical engineering. The idea for the event is for groups to build medieval-esque catapults that launch pumpkins. 20 groups from, the, uh, from around the tri-state area took part in this smashing event. This year's theme was Marvel vs. DC Superhero, so, so the groups channeled their inner superhero to complete the task. Rowan University students took to the rec center pool in the fourth annual homecoming battleship competition. The goal was to sink the other team's ships and avoid your ship from being sunk at the same time. Students were in teams of four and had to think of strategies to sink the opposing ships. Each team was given a paddle, two water buckets, and a shield. Six different teams went head to head. The outdoors club won. And now here's Deshanti with this week's tr What's Trending. Thanks, Victoria. The Twitter world is going crazy over the announcement that they might be getting rid of the like button pretty soon. On Monday, Twitter CEO and co-founder Jack Dorsey made the announcement of this upcoming change. Twitter is looking to possibly get rid of the like button to promote healthy debating and less trolling. They believe the loudest and most agitated voices on Twitter are rewarded with likes and retweets, and that doesn't help with inciting healthy conversation. The company has been looking deeply into the fundamentals of the services their brand is offering and how to create and increase more of a healthy conversation. A Philadelphia tradition has come to an end after 26 years. The Wing Bowl was created in 1993 for Super Bowl weekend. For Eagles fans, this was a consolation prize for them not going to the Super Bowl. 
the radio station that started it all, d said that due to its, the Eagles finally winning a Super Bowl, that there isn't a need to have the wing-eating extravaganza anymore. There's a hamburglar on the loose, and she's been caught red-handed or red-pawed. Princess, the dog, sneaks out of her owner's home at night in Oklahoma City and then proceeds to go to McDonald's and pretend to be a stray for free hamburgers. Her oni, Betsy Reyes, caught her pup in the act and posted on Twitter, and Princess has since gone viral. So, hamburger eating dog. <laughs> hamburger eating dog, that's cool and all, but they're gonna get rid of the like button on Twitter? Yeah. That, why? Because it doesn't help with, they're trying to brand themselves as, you know, helping But I want people to know that I like, I, I appreciate the tweet. <laughs> I mean, I could retweet it, but like, favoriting is just, hey, I don't, I don't want that appearing yeah. on my Twitter feed, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I guess Very you true. won't be the only one upset, you know? <laughs> it I happens. Won't be. <laughs> Coming up, your national news. Don't go away. That's your phone while you was in class. You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Got a quarter? And here's Frank with your national news. Thanks, Victoria. President Trump plans to visit Pittsburgh this Tuesday to pay respects to the victims of the synagogue shooting this past Saturday. This decision was opposed by various Jewish leaders, including Donna Kufal, the president-elect of Dor Hadash, one of the congregations that were worshiping on the same building that Saturday. Although not all Jewish leaders are opposing Trump's visit, Rabbi Jeffrey Myers, who was in the sanctuary leading service for the Tree of Life, congregation during the shooting told CNN that, quote, I'm a citizen, he's the president, he's certainly welcome, end quote. The notorious gangster James Whitey Bulger died this morning at 8.20 a.m. after seven years in prison. He was captured in 2011 after 16 years as a fugitive. He was convicted in 2013 for 11 murders. The details of his death have not been announced, but it's, a, but it's believed Bulger was murdered was murdered. A Department of Correction statement said that the FBI had launched an investigation and that, quote, no staff or other, or, or, other, or other inmates were injured. And at the time, the public was not in danger, end quote. In Kansas City, a giant inflatable colon was, was recovered after someone stole it for 12 days. The inflatable in intestine, inst intestine was used to raise awareness about colorectal cancer, and it was worth over $4,000. The Kansas Police City Department received a tip from on Monday that let them know that the stolen good was located on a vacant house. The University of Kansas Cancer Center that owns the colon chairs their recovery, but as of now, there's no suspect. Wow. I know. A lot happening. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in, but uh, at least we end up on a good note. Uh, and that inflatable, it's a safe now. It's, okay. it's, back. it's, it's, it's safe, good. and now we can we can make people aware of different types that's of cancer. Right. And all that's right. that's what it's all about. That's that, what it's that, all about. That is. That's right. All right. Coming up, your weekly sports update.
Welcome back, and now here's Mike with your Rowan Sports Update. Thanks, Victoria. Rowan's field hockey team shut out FDU Florham 3-0 on Friday. The profs started slow in the first half, but came to life in the second half as Rachel Gallant added to the score sheet in the, eight, in the 48th minute. Ten minutes later, Gallant would go from goal scorer to creator as she assisted Christina Castagnola for the second goal of the night. Liz Fox closed the game out, scoring the third goal and cementing the team's now 18-0 win streak. The Rowan's men's soccer team advanced to the, the NJAC semifinals by being stocked in 4-2 on Saturday. Ryan Campbell wasted no time finding the back of the net as he scored twice within 30 minutes leading into his halftime, uh, leading into halftime 2-0 up. The second half was full of intensity as Stockton gave away a penalty allowing Campbell to claim his third goal of the night. Stockton would respond with back-to-back -back goals, but Sif El Siedi denied the comeback, scoring Rowan's fourth of the night. Rowan traveled to Montclair on Tuesday. Late game drama on the pitch hurt the Rowan women's soccer team, costing them the first seed in the NJAC tournament. Rowan lost to TCNJ, and the profs are now 12-2-2, um, two, uh, two two, where the profs uh, were the favorites early on as Catherine McCary scored Rowan's only goal in the 20th minute. TCNJ would find their equalizer in the 69th minute and eventually snuck past Rowan with a late header in the 87th. Uh, Shelby Money tallied four saves and are set to face Kane on Wednesday. Let's talk about our field hockey team. Oh, oh my, my gosh. 18 and 0. 18 and 0. That That's is crazy. very impressive. Wow. Right now, Christina Castagnola and Rachel Gallant are very good. Like, they're scoring every game or they're assisting. They're always contributing some way. And it's just, it, this, you can't write stories like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just amazing. No, it's great. It's just, a, it's great to hear that they're 18 and 0. That's a big milestone for yeah, it the really is. Um, field hockey team. It's wow. amazing. That's great. It's very good. Awesome. And that's all for this week's edition of RTN News. I'm Victoria Todorova. And I'm Nate Aquino. Stay tuned for next week's show. Have a good day, everyone.